Hey, my beautiful G3 family, what it is, what it do, what's poppin'? Happy, happy Winning Wednesday. It's Tuesday night, but I'm going to post this on Wednesday. So happy Winning Wednesday, or oh, whichever day this video decides to bless your timeline. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for being here, tuning in, and rocking out with your sis. If this is your first time, welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. Please like, share, subscribe, join the G3 family. Listen, if you're all about ascension, growth, promotion, elevation, truth, and breaking those karmic cycles, then baby, this is where you need to be. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. A big shout out and a big thank you to everybody who has booked and donated to the channel thus far. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you for your love and your support. If you're looking to book or donate, all of that information is down below. I have a Patreon too, family. So if you want daily guidance from your sis, keep you on your A game, join the Patreon. You can find that link down below as well. Join the movement as we move on up. All right, let's tap into this energy, G3. Uh, I heard that uh, people are watching you it's a lot of eyes on you, but they're watching you, waiting for you to fall off. It's people watching you, just waiting for you to fall off because they know it's going to happen. They know. It's like, it's. I don't know. It's like people are, I don't, it's not that they're wishing on your downfall, but they don't believe that something is something that, you, that you're doing, something that you're partaking in. They don't believe that it has longevity. So it's like people are watching you right now, G3, and they're waiting to say, I told you so, or I knew it, or see. <laughs> but I heard to tell them, don't hold your breath, because if they're waiting for you to fall off, they're going to be waiting for a long time. They're going to be, I don't, I don't think you're falling off this lifetime, okay? I, you're giving billionaire, okay? I don't know. Somebody's giving billionaire status. Somebody's waiting for your money to, to, to fall off, but you're, you're, it's up and it's stuck for you, okay? Somebody here is up and it's stuck for you. It's no falling off for you. It's no going back. It's no um, going down the mountain anymore. It's something about you are on a constant rise. You went through the ups and downs. It's like now you're on this, you're, you're, you're on top or you're going up. And it's stuck that way. And a lot of it really has to do with the most high, uh, Proving people wrong. Because people are really, I don't know, it's something that you're doing, something that you're partaking in, something that you're investing a lot of your time to. It's like, it's, it could be taking you away from certain individuals, okay? But whatever this is that you're doing, it's, it has you on the, the billionaire path, okay? It's something about the billionaire boys, okay? The billionaire boy club. Is that is that the name of it? <laughs> it's like somebody's about to be in the billionaire club. Okay, or that's the path that you're on. So your ancestors and spirit, mother, father, however you say this thing, they're telling people do not hold your breath or hold it. Hold it. <laughs> but they saying don't hold your breath here because at the end of the day, if people, whatever they're waiting for when it comes to you is not going to happen. They might as well just get that thought of you falling off or you not making it or you're, you not being successful. They just need to get that out of their mind because you're given billionaire status. Okay, that's who this is. I don't know. Okay. But just know that this is something that happens within first. Okay. But somebody is doing something. Somebody is creating something. Somebody is building something somebody's writing something okay authors somebody's writing something somebody is is really about to release some type of artwork something and it's really or you're already doing this you could have left your job and said you know what 
I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to do something. I want to do this. I want to do that. And, and, and it's successful and it's working for you. And it's like, it's people that's like, <sighs> okay. So these are people that, that go to nine to fives and that's it. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people, it, they're okay with that. And that is, that is okay with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no issue with that, but the energy that I'm picking up on is like, this is, this is somebody, these are people who only understand nine to fives. These are people that only understand things happening or going a certain way. You, you're supposed to go to school, graduate high school, then you go to college, graduate college, get your diplomas, do whatever you got to do, get a job in that field, you know, and that is success. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, they follow that, that timeline, they follow that path, you know, towards success because that path can lead you to, to, to success. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you go to school for something, you work hard for something, you, you get a degree and then you're working in that, in that degree. Okay. Then you can move up and all this other stuff. So it's nothing wrong with that, but it's like you, it's whoever I'm picking up on here. You're not living the nine to five, going to school, graduating college, did degrees. Or, I don't know. I, I feel like somebody here is, and even if you did that, you know what I'm saying? Cause somebody could have done that. And it's like, okay, well I, I found, I, I've learned you know, it was cool. Now I want to do this. I, this is what I want to invest my time in or something like that. Either way, I feel like something that you're doing here is very successful for you. And you have people that's watching you waiting for your downfall because that's not the way life goes. That's not how you obtain success. Uh, obsess. These people are obsessed with you. <laughs> Somebody is obsessed. That's not what I was about to say. Whoa. It's just people that are obsessed with you here, G3. They're obsessed with... Being right. I feel like you could have expressed what you wanted to do to somebody and they said, no, that's not what you should do. That's the wrong thing. That's wrong. But it's something about you didn't listen to them. And now somebody want to force, somebody wants to be right when it comes to your to, to what you're doing. Somebody told a lot of people that you couldn't do something. Somebody told a lot of people that you were not going to be successful at something that you're putting your time, your energy, and your effort towards. Somebody said that this that's not the path that you should go down. They've been they've been running their mouth and telling a lot of people this. And this is, and I feel like this is exactly why something is going to work out for you. Because see, you put your faith and your trust in the most high. You put your faith in faith and your trust in the universe, in, in mother, father, God, in, in your ancestors. You put your faith and trust into the source. And you said, you know, I'm going to follow you. And, and this is the path that you want me to be on. This is the path that I'm going to be on. You are, you're doing what you are pulled and called to do. Okay. What you have been chosen to do. Okay. You have been called to write that book, write that song, write that poem. You have been called to, to shine, to be, to, to, to be in some type of spotlight or everybody's everybody's calling is going to be different so you're you have been called to be in charge of that or the head of that it's something you have been called for something here chosen for something here and it's somebody that has been walking around telling people that you're not going to be able to do something you're not successful you can't do something and they're watching you. This person is obsessed because they got to, it's like this person is projecting too because they, they, they need to see what they said about you on your life. They need to see it. They got to see what they said about you on your life. They need to see you living what they said that you are going to be living. But the most high is going to make you a billionaire. Obsessed 
projecting a downfall on you. And the most high is going to raise you up to billionaire status. You're going to be in the billionaire boys club or whatever it's called. The billionaire's girls club. <laughs> Telling you. I feel like God is God is really about to show. I'm here and show yourself mine. Show yourself strong. Show yourself awesome. In the midst of it all. I don't know. I'm thinking, I feel like those are not the words. I don't think so. But I'm here, but I did hear show yourself mighty, show yourself strong. So so the most high is about to show himself or herself or their self. However, however it goes. The ancestors, they're about to the, 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 the spiritual realm source is about to show itself mighty and strong. The universe is really about to show itself mighty and strong here through you. Because somebody just know you're going to fall off. Somebody just know that you are not in alignment is what I'm hearing. Somebody know, Somebody just feels like you are not in alignment. You are not this. You are not that. You can't do that. You won't succeed. You won't. You won't. You won't. They just, they just, they watch it. But it's up and it's stuck, baby. Huh? <laughs> they going to they gonna watch themselves into a heart attack. Okay, <laughs> because... Because I feel like, you know, you're going up. It's up and it's stuck for you. It just is what it is. They're not going to see you down. They're not going to see you fall. They're not going to see you fall off. They won't do it. They won't see it. G3, listen to me. They won't see it. Oh, you can't do this without me. You can't make it without me. Watch me make it. Watch me more than make it. <laughs> G3, tell them. Tell them because they, because I feel like this is, it's like they, they really spoke something over your life. And I guess what they spoke over your life, they really thought it was gone. If they spoke it to enough people, maybe they thought that it was going to happen, but the fact that they spoke it to a lot of people and it's not happening is really. This person is obsessed here. This is an obsession. But they're going to watch the Most High prepare a table for you. And they're going to be like, well. Somebody's, oh, that's what they doing. They sitting there, they watching your table because the most high, your ancestors, mother, father, source, however you say, they prepared a table. Oh, it's a beautiful table. Okay, fruits, vegetables, your favorite foods, everything you like, you know what I'm saying? Even some, you know, your sweets, you know what I'm saying? You get a sweet tooth sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you get a sweet tooth sometimes. So your sweets up there, you know what I'm saying? Everything that you like on the table, okay? And I'm hearing it's meats up there too. Uh, we don't know what y'all talking about, okay? They say don't call up uh, 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 unclean what we call clean, okay? Because somebody like, oh, I don't eat meat. Da, 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 meat, 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 meat. Oh, the most I don't eat meat, 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 meat. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. okay, but on this table, I'm seeing some fried chicken. What's that? <laughs> you can go ahead, all right, all right. But but God said don't call unclean what I call clean. All right now. So y'all do what y'all do, but everybody table gonna be prepared differently. Okay. Everybody table gonna be prepared differently. So don't get mad at the people that got meat on their table. And y'all and the people that got meat on their table, don't get mad at the people that don't got no meat on their table. It's okay. Cause the most high prepared both of their tables. Yes, they did. Uh-huh. And so now your table is, you know, however you like or whatever you like on is is at your table. And somebody is just watching you feast. Mm -hmm. Don't mind if I do some of that. Mm. <laughs> mm, you're dipping it in the sauces. Mm, I got the sauce going on. Got some salad over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some fruit, some watermelons. Got, ah, some 
Mm, strawberries got some chocolate if you want to dip it into chocolate or whatever mm, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a see that later but it's alright mm, I'm gonna enjoy this right now mm. <laughs> G3 everything that you like is on this table okay you got some Doritos some chips whatever you like is on the table <laughs> somebody watch you somebody watch you eat and every day they checking to see if there is, if the food is, is, is the, if the portions are less. Every day, somebody is watching to see if the, if the portion on your table is less. <sighs> okay. I know their table's going to get wobbly one day. I know their table is going to get empty. I know something is going to happen to that table. I'm just watching this table. But every time, they go, it's like nothing. It's more this. It's more that. It's new stuff, cause you know you want to try something new. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you got foods up there that you ain't never tried before. Different cultures. You're like, oh, what's this? Mmm, spicy. I like spicy. <laughs> you trying different foods? You doing different things? It's like nothing that they said about this table is happening to this table, and nothing will ever happen to it because it's a table. That the, that the Lord has prepared. Okay? It's a table that the Lord. They said Jesus was a carpenter. It's a table that the Lord's built. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so with that being said, they waiting for your table to get all jacked up. But your bro, your sis, however it go. So many stories. Uh, they made the table. Table sturdier than a mug. <laughs> and it's going to keep getting replenished every day. Why? Because every day you got to eat. Unless some day you take a fast or whatever. And then, you know, they just have everything wait until you come back to it. You know? Uh, they will not see what they want to see in your life, G3. It's something about your table being sturdy, okay? <laughs> uh, what's happening here? Something about the casino. Somebody going to the casino, okay? Shadow. Mm. Somebody's shadow is being seen. Mm-hmm. Somebody has a dark, well, the shadow is dark. Somebody tried to hide their shadow, but there's something about them being seen. Maybe somebody tried to, let's see, shadow is here. What else? Snack. Somebody tried to come steal off your table. This is why somebody's obsessed with your table watching your table somebody's watching your table and then they trying to go back and, and create a table like that somebody is trying to snack off your table take pieces take things from your table here so i'm picking up red flag red flag triggered oh my gosh somebody is triggered here because they can't steal something from your table because you see them as a red flag you see somebody you see somebody's shadow here there's somebody that's trying to somebody wants to come in your energy and steal something from your table being that it's being replenished every darn day. Being that you just refused to fall off, like I said, that you was that you, that was going to happen. Just because you you know you 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 on this up and stuck type energy, I might as well come in and snack off your table. This is somebody's mind. I'm in. 
this obsessed person's mind. Yeah, I'm in somebody's mind here. This is this obsessed person when it comes to you. It's somebody, it's like a, they have their shadow talking to them and they have their angel, their ancestors trying to reach them too. The shadow is telling them to go and snack off the table. And the ancestors are saying, their ancestors are saying, that's a red flag. No, <coughs> abort, abort, abort. Somebody's triggered because their shadow want to do something. Their shadow wants to come in towards you. Their shadow wants to take from your table. Their shadow want to spill something on your table. And now, and, and, and they're mad. The, sh the shadow aspect of them, the, the, the dark aspect of them, or, or these dark energies that's really controlling their mental right now is really angry, mad, because what the shadow want to do, the shadow can't. Why? Because you a legend, okay? You gave this person the middle finger. So this is somebody who could have you get you cut somebody off, you gave somebody the middle finger, okay? You got the you cut them off. And I feel like what I'm seeing here when you cut them off, you became a legend. <laughs> when when you cut them off, you you got on your billionaire path. Okay? You became some type of you you got this billionaire mindset. Like I said, that 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 billionaire that, ha that that happens within. It's something that clicks within because that's a different type of energy. Every if anybody can be a billionaire, it will be a bunch of billionaires here. But everybody don't have that type of mindset, that type of energy, drive, passion. Okay, billionaires. You know how many times a billionaire had to fall. You know how many times a billionaire had to fail. You know what I'm saying? A, a real, not to say uh, people that's born into that type of status is not somebody that um worked hard for some, or, or they they got it the easy way. Well, I guess what they got it the easy way. But there's there's people that had to really work something from the bottom, and then it's it's people here that created things that uh in ye years later they you know became some type of billionaire or something and they're not here to uh enjoy it or something but their descendants are or their ancestors yeah their, de their descendants are and when they return they can or something like that i'm seeing businesses and things started in 1917 you know, we've been in business since 1885. <laughs> we've been making this since, you know, just this old thing. When, when, when people first started doing something, they probably wasn't billionaires. But now if you look at the corporation or the industry or whatever that is, it's like whatever that company is, it's, it's a billion dollar company here. And it not only supports the descendants of the creator, but a lot of the people that work for the company and all this other stuff, the people that keep that keeps the name going, keeps the company up. So I feel like, you know, G3 is something that is that you're creating that is legendary or something that you're doing that is legendary. And I feel like you will receive some type of billionaire status so in this lifetime or it's like you will something that you're doing is going to be legendary it's going to be like that oh something since 19 since 2024 it's going to be like it's going to be like 3000 in 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 one okay the year 3000 and they're gonna be like oh this started in 2020 something <laughs> been in business since 2000 and something they're gonna be like ooh. This thing been a business for a long time. Legend. 
This is what I'm picking up on, G3. Somebody here is legendary. Somebody's doing something that's legendary. Somebody is, is doing something for their descendants, leaving something for their descendants. And I feel like, you know, once you kind of walked away and gave somebody the middle finger, you became some type of legend. And this person is triggered because you walked away. And I feel like when you walked away, this is somebody who started to talk down on you or bad about you or what you was doing or how you was doing something. This is somebody who was like, you know, oh, like, oh, like I was saying before, oh, you ain't never going to make it without me. You ain't never going to do this. You need me to do that. You need me. You need me. You need me. And it's like, I, hold on. What's that? <laughs> you I can succeed without you and this is what you're doing here so somebody's shadow side wants to come in and take from you or make something they want to come in and mess up the table because this is somebody who they made themselves the the victim when it comes to you or your situation somebody made themselves a victim and if they are a victim you should be falling off or something here you should be getting karma you should be feeling it So, every, so so this person, because I'm not, it was a lot of eyes. I felt a lot of eyes. This person has a lot of people watching you because if this person did all of this and you are the victim, then why are they up and stuck? I don't understand. It's not making sense. So you got people watching, like, no, yeah, they're gonna fall off because they did so they did that to so and so. Yeah, they they about to fall off for real because they <laughs> They 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 messed over so and so. Yeah, God gonna really knock that down because they not a good person because they did this to so and so. You know what I'm saying? So God gonna really destroy that. I'm just I'm trying. I'm waiting because it's people watching. Like, oh, you a Netflix series? My goodness. Okay, my goodness. Somebody somebody have a Netflix story. Somebody has a, a movie. I'm telling you. Somebody like gonna be a movie. You're a legend. You're a billionaire. Somebody like gonna be a movie. For real. Something that you do is something. Maybe it's a book that you write. You're a book gonna turn into a movie. However it goes. It's something about, or somebody gonna turn their life into a book and it's gonna turn into a movie. However it goes. I pick it up on people are watching you like your Netflix series. Because my goodness now, you're supposed to be falling off. Because either one, we're doing magic, so you got people that's watching, because we're doing magic. So what's what's going on with the magic? We got people watching because there's so many victims when it comes to your energy. So it's like, okay, well, if this person has all of these victims, then I know that it just any day now is going to happen. It's any, it, it is like it, it, people are excited. It's like people are excited to, to, you know how like people are excited to see the next episode? Now, the episode before, the last episode, it was tragic. They can't wait to see the next episode. <laughs> it's like, and, I, and I feel you because me too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ooh, that was a good episode. Let me, let me see what's the next one. It's like, you got people like this. Are they going to fall off today? Is it today? Because I know what they did. I know what they did last summer. I know what they did last summer. So I know they got to fall off. Because I know what they did last summer. Mm-mm. It's a lot of eyes, so they do imagine that this now they watch her see that, and they doing, uh, you know, they so many victims. So now they watch, and I'm telling you, you got a lot of eyes on you, and and I, yeah, I'm not gonna say everybody's rooting for rooting for you to fall off. You know, there, there's people that's oh, I heard there's people that's happy. There's people that's happy. That people, because pe I feel like somebody, or it could be people, however it goes, somebody's walking around 
playing your victim, but it's make people love that. People have been waiting for this person to feel like a victim because this is whoever this is, they go around and victimize people. They go, they, they're a villain. They go around and, and try to destroy people. They, they try to make people feel certain ways. And then people don't really know how to go against this person or, you know, uh, I feel like people don't even want to waste their time. So they just let this person have it or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's like this person really gets on their nerves. So it's like somebody here is around people like, oh, this person did this and they got this, they got this going on in my and, and they doing this. And, you know, it's like everything is your fault. Everything that they're going through and people in, is looking at them like, thank yes, finally, somebody has turned this villain into a victim. Yes! <laughs> it's like people, like this person don't even realize, like, they, people, the people that they're telling this stuff to or trying to feel, try to make people look at you in a, in a negative light because of all, all the things that they're going through. It's like people are watching you and they're so happy. They're thankful, they're grateful for you. They're grateful for your energy. They're grateful for whatever. They don't, it's like what, what they're saying, they know that you did not do something to this person or they know, but it's like the fact that you got this person feeling like this, got this person lying through their teeth like this or got this person feeling down. Just because you got this person like this, it's like people like, yeah, they watch you. They're like, ooh. You the truth. So you got people rooting on you, people that's on your side. It's a lot of people. Somebody's making you a legend. <laughs> somebody here made you a legend. And this is why somebody wants to come in. This is why somebody wants to come in and snap off your table. Because... I'm, I, <laughs> they feel entitled. This is a this shadow. I'm here on the shadow man. This shadow. This is a this is like a demonic entity. This is a spirit that's connected to somebody here. It's not even their shadow. It's like their shadow on steroids and these steroids are parasites and, and, and or a demon or something like that <laughs> it's like it's whatever this shadow is it's very it's a strong shadow this person feels entitled to to snack off your table but you don't you see you don't see them you walked away from them. You don't see somebody as a good energy or somebody to connect to or somebody to be with or you see this person as toxic. This is what, yeah, this red flag is given toxic, toxicity. This is a very toxic person. Three, three on the clock. Three, three, 38. Somebody could be 38, but 33 is significant. So they're triggered. Somebody is triggered here. Because their shadow is their 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 this spirit is being exposed. The demon that's attached to somebody or these people are being exposed. Okay, they're being exposed for liars. They're being exposed for um people that's playing victim, people that's you know um wants attention. They're they're it's people. Yeah, people are playing victim here. And people are seeing it. It's being exposed. Like this demon. It's like people, like whoever this is or these people are, they don't know how to conceal or cover up their this shadow anymore. Because they, 
are triggered. They're so angry. Somebody lost control of their shadow. And now I guess they want to come because a lot of people are watching you. I feel like there's a lot of people watching you because of a certain individual or certain people here that was um, talking a lot about your downfall. They was talking a lot about you not making it or something or you not succeeding at something. They was running their mouth a lot about that, I'm telling you. So they got a bunch of people eyes on you right now. So I guess, you know, with, with all of these people eyes that's on you, it's, it's exposing them and revealing who they truly are. This this dark, low vibrational, toxic individual. This, this person is very... This person has no soul. Yeah, this is a soulless type of being here. This is somebody who this is somebody who wears people's faces. This is a very strong entity that's connected to somebody. This is an entity that wears people. This is something, this is an entity that entity that fully takes control of the individual. I feel like somebody got some real deep rooted childhood trauma here. It's real deep. They have real dark secrets too. This is exactly why somebody was, a, this entity became a stronghold, a strong man. This is somebody, this is a, a spirit that grew with whoever this is. This is a spirit that connected to somebody as a child and grew with them at, to an adult here. When 38 could be significant. So when somebody was 38, something truly took root. Thirty-eight was the last time I'm I'm hearing somebody had some type of human feelings to them. This is a very dark individual here, or these are very dark people. These are pe these spirits. I'm picking up on these spirits or these demons. They hide them. They hide themselves in people. So these spirits have full control. So when they want to come out, they come out. And when they want to hide themselves, they allow the other person, like the, the human aspect or the person that they are wearing, they allow them to come up. But even when they allow them to come up, it's like they are still being controlled because... You're, they're still under control. They're still in a sunken place, but they're just these demons hide within the, in these type of individuals or something like that. I don't know. This is why somebody's shadow is it's like the uh, the audacity that somebody feels entitled. It's because this demon that's attached to them is making them feel like this, like somebody feels like they're entitled to your table or something because maybe they got a lot of eyes on your table. So this is somebody who ran their mouth about you, about how you was going to fail and how you was going to fall off and how you're not going to be something, how you not this, or how you not that. They ran their, they ran your name to the ground and they, and they had a bunch of people watching, looking, staring at you. And, all, and, and then the thing about it is you, you know, people are watching you, they're watching your, your, your um, accounts, you know, they could be, you know, people in, na in the neighborhood watching you. However it goes. It's like people are watching you, but they obsess. It's like people watch you and they get obsessed with you, with your energy, because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful energy. It's hard to not, it's hard. It's hard not to love you, not to like you, not to, not to see. It's, it's hard not to look at you once they look at you. Okay. 
<laughs> like something like that. So, so, so this person is like, now I said, all of these people are watching them because I was talking X. So I'm entitled to something on that table too. This is both. This is somebody who is a square or something like that. I heard, I heard a square. <laughs> I heard a square. This is somebody who's a square. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, man. Privilege. Somebody feels like you are privileged. I feel like somebody feels like you don't deserve something here. Somebody's calling you a fake witch. <laughs> or whoever this is could be a fake witch or something like that. Or somebody could be calling you a fake spiritualist. You know, they saying, oh, you not real. <laughs> And I feel like this is exactly why somebody is being um, this is why you're going to thrive here. Because somebody feels like maybe, you know, your belief system or what you believe in is fake. Okay? This could be a mature woman, somebody older than you. Okay? Um... Yeah, somebody's saying that you fake. Or somebody could be saying that you didn't get something out the mud. Like, they, with this, they feel like you privileged. Okay? Oh, pretty privileged. Because snack is, ooh, you look good. Mmm, you sexy. So, this is pretty privileged here. Somebody feels like you, because you look good or you handsome or you pretty or something like that is the reason why your table is the way it is. No, your table is the way it is because the most high, the, the, the table is prepared by the most high. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> like, that's who prepares the table. So somebody is like, oh, your table is only like that because you're pretty. Or because you're attractive or handsome. But this is somebody's shadow. Somebody don't have control over their shadow and their shadow is being exposed. Somebody think it's cool to be your victim, but because it's weird. It's weird that somebody thinks it's cool to be your victim when they was talking so much junk about you. You was this, you was that, you not this. So they, they saying, oh, you ain't no witch. You a fake this, you a fake that, you a fake this. But then, oh, they doing spell work on me and my life is like this because they doing spell work. The if they do a spell work and then your life is like this, that means it ain't no fake wit. No, right? So now people look at that. So which one is it? Are they fake? Or are they good? It's like, somebody is, somebody's stuck because it's like, are they fake? Or are they good? Which one? Which one is it? Somebody. They're like, yo, what is this? I don't. One minute you said that they was they couldn't do nothing. They was whack. They was a it was a it was all a, a show. It was all a show. Ain't no power in that. Somebody <laughs> that's what they would say. Somebody would say, ain't no power in that. I don't know what they doing, but ain't no power in that. God ain't in that. Uh-uh, God ain't in that. <laughs> and now they're your victim though. So this is so so people are looking at this person like which one is it? Hmm? They're looking at them as some type of liar or somebody who likes attention. Somebody somebody likes attention so bad that they are ruining their reputation or ruining themselves here. Because they want attention. 
Somebody got a whole bunch of eyes on you. Somebody made you, got, got so many eyes on you. Somebody got so many eyes on you all because they wanted attention. <laughs> now somebody is trying to get these eyes off of you by being a victim. No, 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 they're victim. Oh, no, look what they did. Oh, they're terrible. They did, they did. They're like, yo, what, sh what is it? Because this person is amazing. This person seems like a great person. This person is thriving. This person, it's like somebody is, like people are like, yo, you're lying. You're a liar. You're lying. You you want attention. Somebody's being exposed for the toxic energy that they are, for the toxic energy that you saw months, weeks. It could have been days, weeks, months, or years ago. You saw it, and what did you say? <laughs> let me get let me get about here. <laughs> okay. Look, Oracle. Look, you saw what you did it to see. Okay. Why? Because you a star see. Okay. And that's and one thing you want to do is feel. Okay, you gonna feel and you gonna hear, listen to your intuition, and it got somebody triggered. Okay, they triggered, they tight, they mad, they mad now. Okay, because they talked all of this junk, and now everybody is seeing the red flag that you saw days, weeks, months, years ago. Mm, 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 mm. What else is happening here? Thank you. Honesty. Somebody's being forced to tell the truth. Somebody's being forced to tell the truth when it comes to you now. I'm telling you. Because people is people are watching. Imagine that. People are watching the chosen ones. Waiting for them to fall off. That is not how you're supposed to be watching the victorious ones. You're supposed to be watching the victorious ones, cheering them on, bigging them up, clapping for them. Yes! Go ahead. You keep running. Keep going. You're supposed to be watching the chosen ones happy that they're overcoming and making it through. So the most high, mother, father, your ancestors, they are tight. That people are watching you, waiting for you to fall off because of somebody's lies. The ancestors are mad. The most high is mad. How dare they have people watching you, waiting for you to fall off. Do you understand? People are, they don't even understand. It's like some people, they're watching you. And they're waiting for you to fall off. And they don't even under, realize that they're projecting that energy towards you. So now that they're watching you, waiting you, for you to fall off, these are innocent bystanders. Innocent bystanders that's, that's getting taken out because your ancestors are like, yo, why are you over here watching with that negative, nasty, behind energy? Now you got to be taken out. Now you got to be destroyed. Now something got to be blocked and stop with you. Now you got to feel the fire and the wrath of God. Why? So it's people, it's innocent bystanders getting taken out because they're watching you unknowingly projecting that you fall or fail or, or, or something be delayed or stopped or you don't. They're watching you with that negative, nasty energy because of somebody's lies. What the, what the hell are they worried about now? What the hell are you worried about now? Huh? They should be worried. They should be worried. Because they're mad. How dare you watch the chosen ones waiting for them to fail? That's not what you're here to do. That's not what you're here to do. You're here to cheer on the chosen ones. You're not here to, to hope the chosen ones fail. To be in competition with the chosen ones. Many are called. Few are chosen. All these people in the world are hate, and you want to hate on my chosen? All these people in the world that, 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 that you can want to fail. You want my chosen one to fail? The one that has come through to co-create and build something and create and leave a legacy and, and be a legend? You want my... Yeah. Be worried. Because they mad. People that, that got taken out, innocent bystanders taken out because they listen to they listening to lies. People 
people wanting you to wanting you to be destroyed and wanting your empire to fall or wanting you to fail, wanting some, something to stop you because of somebody's lies. You worry? Yeah. Keep worrying. Worry your ass off. Okay? <laughs> chosen ones and have people looking at the chosen one projecting negative energy when they did not say everybody don't have that billionaire mindset everybody don't have that and it's because only many are called but few are chosen those people that are chosen that they don't have a choice but they they don't got a choice they gotta do what they came here to do it's no choice so you know what that means their path is so hard their path is so hard because they got no choice. Look at all you with your free will. Oh, your free will. Look at you. Yeah, we don't got no choice. And it's a hard journey. It's a hard path. But it's a path for the co-creators, for the legends and the billionaires. Somebody made an already hard path harder with people looking at you, projecting energy, negative energy towards you. They should they should know better. That's why that's why the ancestors still took them out. They was innocent bystanders, but they still got taken out. They still feeling the fight. They still feeling the wrath of God. They still on God's hit list because you should know better. You should know better than to look at somebody wanting them to fail. Want to destroy them. You should know better than that. You should have learned that in elementary school. Junior high school. You should have really learned that in high school. You should have been over it in college. You shouldn't be up in these 30, 40, 50 years trying to still understand and learn these childish lessons. Got the nerve to be worried make me sick worried about you better worry about no, don't worry it's gonna happen don't worry my chosen ones already have to go through so much and you just keep putting more on them with your lies no you're gonna be forced to tell the truth somebody's about to be forced to tell the truth being that they don't know what to do with their free will you know how you know how the chosen ones would love free will. The chosen ones would love free will. We would love that. They don't know how lucky they are, how special they are. Oh, you got free will. You don't gotta do something. You can do whatever you want to do out here. I mean, do what do the right thing, please. Because if not karma, but you can do whatever you want to do out here. Them chosen ones ain't no choice for the chosen, and you know that. My chosen, you know it. You feel it. You try to walk away from something. You try to do something that just don't work. Somebody made an already hard path hard for you. Pride, yeah, ego. Pride in reverse. Mm-hmm. Their ego was all jacked up now. Because somebody got, somebody's being forced to tell the truth here, G3. <laughs> somebody's being forced to tell the truth with the same mouth that they was lying with you. Lying about you. The same mouth that they was using to lie about you. The same mouth that they're going to be forced to tell the truth out of. <laughs> yeah. 
at your lion eye. <laughs> I heard, I was about to say lion eyes. Somebody got lion eyes here, okay? Oh, cause it's somebody, oh, cause I see this. <laughs> I see this happening for them. I see this happening for that person. I see that, I see that. Yeah, this is somebody who walk around who try to act, oh, they the fake witch. They the fake oracle. They the fake diviner. <laughs> They're the fake spiritualists. They're the fake ones. They're about to be forced to tell the truth. I didn't see nothing. I was lying to you. I was a lie. This is why my life is so jacked up. Because I'm a liar. <laughs> and my eye didn't see nothing. Because my eye is all clogged up. What? It's calcified. My eye is ca calcified. <laughs> this is what somebody's going to be. This is what they're going to be forced to say. Because how dare you? How dare you? Okay? Yeah. You're being freed. I'm telling you, somebody's about to be forced to tell the truth and you're going to be freed from something here because it's a lot of people watching you with eyes waiting for you to fall. Yo, go. I get it. I get it. Because like I said, you know, we you watch things, you watch on TV. It was a terrible episode, you know, and, and this one is going to be a terrible one too. And you can't wait to see the terrible thing that happens. That, that happens. <laughs> so, like, so, so I understand that. Okay, but but people got to understand, you know, your life is not a series yet. I'm hearing yet. Listen, listen. Somebody's life is, is going to be a series, but it ain't that yet. Okay, <laughs> so people got to like chill, you know. People got to understand when, when they're looking and they're projecting that negative energy towards you, that it, it, it can it can affect them too. So this is why you got to be very smart about who you're listening to, especially when it comes to, oh, they're talking about people or trying to get you to look at somebody the wrong, uh, uh, in, in, in a negative light. It's like, please, like, come on. Like, don't, don't always fall. Don't always fall for, for certain things. Like, do your own research. You know? Follow the truth. What is the truth? Ask, ask, you know, mother, father for discernment when it comes to you. Either way, don't be so quick to jump on somebody's hate train. Don't be so quick to jump on somebody's hate, hate wagon. I don't care how long you knew somebody or knew a person. There's old liars. There's old liars. Yeah. There's some liars we call grandma and grandpa. Okay? <laughs> There's old liars. So don't ever, don't ever, oh, you know, they won't lie. But it's all good. Because somebody can't lie no more. I'm hearing liar, liar. What happened to liar, liar? Mm, you said I, everybody who's talking about me, they can only speak the truth. <laughs> G3, remember in liar, liar, the little boy made a wish. I wish my dad could tell the truth. I wish my dad tells me the truth. I wish my dad can't lie no more. He was a, he was a lawyer. You done messed up the bag with your wish. <laughs> somebody made some type of, somebody made, said a prayer. Yeah. Somebody said a prayer because that's all that was. Making a wish. <laughs> Manifesting something. Okay, with the candles and all that. It's fire magic. It's just, that, whole, that whole birthday cake and all that other stuff is a ritual. Okay? Everything we do here is rituals and, and witchcraft and all that other, all that other. So don't, that's, don't be afraid of anything like that. But either way, <laughs> little boy prayed. Okay? Said a prayer. And it came true. So something about you said some type of prayer. The most I heard your prayer. Protect me. 
uh, anybody lying on me, make them have to say the truth. Anybody doing, it's like you done, you gave something up, you, you said something. They said, okay, no worries. And you done messed up somebody's bag here because somebody can't lie no more. <laughs> somebody was a paid liar. <laughs> and here you are making them tell the truth now. Because it's something about your energy. It's something about the fact that because it's people that's trying to understand why are their life being ruined? They're not doing it. They're just watching. Their life is being ruined. Things is going uh, um, disarray all up in their life. Your life is all, you know, their life is all jacked up. It's like people are asking questions like, what's up? I thought you said so-and-so. And why your life is like this? And what happened? You lied. So now somebody's being forced to tell the truth. Forced to to free you from the 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 this this lying jail. It was a jail that somebody had you in, and it, and the bars was just a bunch of lies, and people just looking at you, projecting and giving power to these to these bars, these lies that's blocking you. Yeah, but now here go the truth. Somebody would say, oh, you just do something that's going right for you because you're pretty. Now they're going to have to say something's going right for you because you're a beast. You're good at what you do. I know I said that they was going to fall off, but they are, they are about, they are legend. They are great. They are magnificent. Before it's all over G3, I'm telling you, this person's speech is going to change about you. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. <laughs> G3, they got to tell the truth now. That shadow, what shadow man? I got friends on the other side. Oh, that's what you thought. We were just using you as a shell. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm seeing the shadow man when them, when them demons was like, okay, come here. It's time for us to collect. Yeah. Being that they got to be in their truth now. It's like. They're, oh, that's. So. I feel like. Somebody's life is good. Somebody's life is all all over the place right now, and I feel like it's because these this entity or these entities are are collecting. They're taking back their power. They're taking back. You know, they're taking everything back here. It's like in the chat in the, in that movie, uh, Princess and the Frog. The Shadow Man really was only the Shadow Man or something. He probably had a gift, but he did. He played a lot in the dark, in with these dark energies, selling souls, doing all of these, doing doing all of these uh things under the table and stuff like that. So he was real conniving or something. So it's like you know he was he was able to do things and he was powerful because of the, the, the entities that were connected to him. He was cool. Like I got friends on the other side. They rock, they roll with me. Oh, da, 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 da. Until they mess with the wrong one. They should have left. He, they should have left that dang prince alone and that princess alone. They should have just left the whole thing alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. Cause after he messed with them, he was in a grave and this, and that could be significant here. Somebody's going to have to tell the truth. And after they tell the truth, they're going to the grave. Uh-huh. Because you are the privileged lady or the privileged man. You are privileged. Maybe you are privileged. It just is. You, you are privileged. You're about to be privileged. Yeah, you're going to be privileged. Your children are going to be privileged. You're about to be very privileged here. Okay? Yeah, that's your freedom. Somebody's saying that you're pretty pri privileged, but you you pretty and privileged. That's all. <laughs> You ain't pretty privileged. Did I say this before? I feel like I said this before. You ain't pretty privileged. You pretty and privileged. All right? It just is what it is. Yeah, they forced to tell the truth about this privileged lady. They forced to tell the truth about why you're privileged. And it's because of the work that you have done. And you're pretty on top of that. So something or handsome. Something about triple threat here, okay? Something about triple threat. I'm hearing an icon. Somebody here is an icon. 
or it's yo throughout the years it's a lot of famous people you know it's a lot of famous people a lot of people that that we talk about it's a lot so this is like this is a time period where you see how like we had like I just feel like it's a time period for new legends to, to, to rise up or famous people or people that's going to be spoken about for years. You know, it's that time period right now. If somebody didn't realize that they were really helping you, they, they helped you. They helped you with these eyes, but it's like, okay, because somebody is like, they, they see, they helped you with the eyes. They were supposed to watch. So it's a lot of people that's about to be made believers too. They're about to believe in the power of God, the power of the Most High. Concern, 33 here. Yeah, somebody's concerned, disciplined, because they're about to be disciplined. They're getting in trouble. Somebody is getting in trouble by organization here with this 33. This is giving me some type of organization. Somebody's getting uh, disciplined. Yep, somebody's got to tell the truth to some type of organization. Somebody has to tell the truth to the organization here. Lonely. After they tell this truth, they're going to be put to. They're going to be put to rest. This 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 organization is no longer going to deal with whoever this person is or these people are. However, it goes. This organization is not about to deal with somebody after they tell the truth because I feel like it could have been an organization watching you, waiting for you to to fall. Okay, and if this is an organization with this 33, these are like, you know, uh, high ranked or these are people that, that sits in some type of high position. It's like they, they know better. They know better than to be watching you or, you know, waiting, hoping that you fail or fall or hoping that, you know, they, they it's like these people know better. So somebody got the whole organization under under fire here because of their lies. Somebody here is a liar. And they want to so bad come into your energy and, 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 and like, cause I feel like it's, they know, they know that time is running out with some type of organization. Somebody knows the time is running out. Yeah, it is. You're going to get kicked out of some this organization. And thank goodness the organization should have never took this long to get, get rid of you. To be honest, you were, you were a nuisance since from the first day is what I'm hearing. You were a problem from the first day. Somebody here was a problem. Whoever was running their mouth about you was a problem from the first day of some type of organization here. So at the end of the day, it's like this organization, you know, in, in my job, when I went through something with somebody and labor relations had to get involved. And when they sat down and we had a meeting, it was two ladies or it was another lady on my unit that, oh, the hospital, the whole hospital, the whole hospital. <laughs> hospital what is to get rid of this woman okay they could not take they, they could not take this woman but it was oh my goodness you know all these little laws and bylaws and all of these things these paperwork that they signed and all this other stuff so it's like it was hard to get rid of her you know what I'm saying <laughs> so when me and this other lady went through something on the on the unit they were like when I when I spoke to them they was like we was hoping that it was the other girl because <laughs> we just we goodness we was hoping that it was her oh uh. God, he's sick of her. So I feel like it's an organization that is like just waiting. They're like waiting for something. Because <laughs> they want to get rid of somebody here. And I feel like when the truth comes out, because the same mouth that they lied out of is the same mouth that they're going to have to tell the truth. And when that truth comes forth, and it's like they can't even lie, not going to even lie. It's no room for the lies anymore. Somebody prayed for the truth and the truth is what they received. I'm picking up on, I don't know, a truth serum. Um, these are ma magicians. These are spiritualists. And I don't know, some type of group of spiritualists or something like that. These are real magicians here. 
And shout out to the magicians. I ain't got no beef with no magicians. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef with anybody that know how to do magic or all that other stuff. It's when you want to do death magic and dark magic on, on people that don't deserve it. On innocent people and innocent souls. Okay, like that. Like that's that's when my when when I got a problem with you. But in, in what you do. But other than that, hey. I ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. Do your thing, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just leave me out of it and the innocent and the chosen ones and the, and the people and the children of God. Leave them out because your life is going to be destroyed if you mess with those type of people. But anyway, these are some type of magicians here. So somebody, this person is trying to do magic so they can't, so they so they can tell a lie and it's the group or organization doing magic so they got to tell the truth. It's like these are a bunch of magi mag magicians mad at each other. But it's a group that is gunning for one person here I'm picking up on. It's an organization that's that's so sick of one individual. They're just waiting for some some type of news or something that they could something that could be like something that can put the nail in the coffin is what I'm hearing. And I feel like whatever this is. Because it's a whole organization under the wrath of God. Somebody did too much, too many, too many lies. I'm telling you, okay. Got too obsessed with you, your life. Too obsessed. Got people, you know, wishing on your downfall because of their lies. Like this is this is too much here. So it's people that can really be under, under judgment and going through it because they listen to the lies of this individual. When this person was supposed, you know, this this organization is about truth and righteous and righteousness, okay? In order, in law, the yeah, law and order. It's something about this this group is about law and order, and 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 elevation and growth and and you know just just they're about the right thing. But whatever this indiv this individual is so dark and demonic that it doesn't like that. Even though the organization is good, the organization is under a lot of scrutiny because of what 